Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohit Tech, today in this video I am going to show you, how to install VMware ESXi VMware vSphere Hypervisor 8. Now I am going to open VMware. Click open. Now create a new virtual machine for VMware ESXi. Click next. Select I will install the operating system later then click next. Select VMware ESX. Select VMware ESXi 7 or later. Click next. Click browse. I am going to change VMware ESX installing location. I am going to create new folder under the VM folder in my hard drive. Our installing folder name is VMware E. Click OK. Click Next. Set the size of hard disk. I am giving 80 GB space here. You can set the space of your recording. Click Next. Click Customize Hardware. Select Processor. Number of processor is 1, and number of cores per processors is 3. Click on memory. Select 8 GB. Click on new CD DVD SATA. Select ISO image file. Click browse. Set the location of VMware ISO image file. Click open. Click close. Click finish. Now create our virtual machine for ESXi. Now I am going to start this virtual machine. Click power on to firmware. Let's maximize the console. Select EFI VMware Virtual IDE CD-ROM drive. Press enter on it. Now the installation is processed. Welcome to the VMware ESXi 8.0.0 installation. Press enter to continue. And user license agreement. Press F11 to accept and continue. This is our VMware 80 GB hard drive. Press enter to continue. Keyboard layout, US default. Press enter to continue. Enter a root password. Press enter to continue. Press F11 to install. Installation in progress, it will take some time to install. Now the installation is completed. Press enter to reboot.
Now our VMware ESX console is open. As you are seeing. Right now our server has got IP address through DHCP. Which we will do static IP. I am going to change computer name also. Press F2, customize settings. Log on as root user. Press enter. This is system customization settings. I am going to set static IP address. Press enter on it. Go to IPv4 configuration. Press enter. Select the set static IPv4 address and network configuration. Change the IPv4 address. 10.10.10.1 is our IP address on this machine. Subnet mask is default, class A255.0.0.0. Default gateway is 10.10.10.1. Press enter. Now I am going to set DNS configuration. Select DNS configuration. Press enter. Select, use the following DNS server address and host name. Set primary DNS server, 10.10.10.1. Now set the host name. Remote server is our host name. Press enter. Press escape to exits. Press Y then press enter to apply changes. As you can see on screen. Our host name and IP address have changed. Server side we have done all the configuration. Now we will open another machine to check it. Whether our VMware ESXi is installed correctly or not. I am opening Windows 11 machine. Log on as user. Type password, then press enter. Our Windows 11 machine is log on. Now we will change the IP address of this machine. So that we can access the VMware ESXi8. Go to Ethernet Properties. Select TCP IP version 4 and select Properties. Here the IP address of another class is already inserted. To remove it, we will select obtain IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically. Click use the following IP address. Set IP address is 10.10.10.2. Subnet mask is default. Default gateway is 10.10.10.1. Set the DNS IP address is 10.10.10.1. Click OK. Click close. Close network connections. Click on Windows. Select Windows Terminal Admin. Click Yes. Check communication between Windows 11 and VMware ESXi server. As you can see our Windows 11 and ESXi server communicate successfully. Let's close Windows Terminal. Open Google Chrome. Type 10.10.10.1. Press Enter. Click Advanced. Click on Proceed. Now our VMware ESXi host client web console is open. Log on as root user. Click login. Click OK. Uncheck the join the VMware customer experience improvement program. Click OK. Click close no data stores have been configured on the host.
Click close your currently user ESXi evaluation host mode. The license will expires in 60 days. This is our remote server info. ESXi version 8.0. State not connect to vCenta. Here our CPU, memory, and storage usage is showing how much the current server is using. Let's drop down little bit. Here is showing the configuration of our ESXi server. Let's log out the ESXi client host web console. So viewers in this video you can learn, how to install VMware vSphere hypervisor, ESXi, 8.0.0. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.